Hi guys, I'm Emily. Welcome to my channel and this is my beautiful daughter Ansley. Hi. Today we're going to draw and paint a kind of dinosaur. What kind of dinosaur are we going to do? A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ah. <laughs> Let's get started. For today's Tyrannosaurus Rex tutorial, we're going to start with using the technique of drawing on simple shapes and then erasing out parts that we don't need later. So we're going to start with the hips of the Tyrannosaurus Rex and we're going to begin with a simple, simple shape. Do you know how to draw a circle? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so let's draw our circle kind of in the middle but a little more to the right. And I'm going to make it fairly large like that. And then we're going to draw a little ways away from the circle and higher an oval shape. And it's going to be just as big as the circle. I guess I made mine a little smaller. <laughs> Try to make yours about as the same size as the circle, but an oval. I'm too big. And probably that's too close, so let's erase that. You want to use my big eraser? Yeah. Good thing we have erasers. It's just a rough start. It doesn't have to be perfect at this point. We just want to block in our basic shapes. Okay, yeah, that's better. Now we're going to draw the dinosaurs back. So starting at the top of the oval, we're just going to connect it with a fairly straight but slightly curved line all the way to touch the first circle. Then we'll do the belly. And you want to leave room for the top of the head here, for the bottom of the head. So about halfway in the middle of your oval, that's where we'll start. Can you find a spot about halfway in? And connect that in a curved belly shape to the hips. Good. Let's do the tail next. We'll start with the top of the tail and it's just going to curve around and to the left because we don't have a lot of space on our paper. We're going to take the top of the tail and make a curved shape coming down like that. Now for the bottom of the tail, think about a tail as starting fat and then getting skinny as it comes to the end. So we'll start by touching the bottom of our circle with our pencil and following the shape of our first curve, but getting skinnier and skinnier and skinnier as we get to the tip. All right, you try. All right, I think next we're going to do some more to the head. So um, I think your oval should still be a little bit bigger. So let's extend it some more like this way. And let's take the eraser and erase that inside line. Mm -hmm. And now is our chance to erase these on the inside because we don't need these lines anymore. Now for the eye shape on the Tyrannosaurus Rex, we're going to draw a half circle, a little half circle on the top of his head right about here. And that represents where his head creates an eye socket shape at the top. That's good. I like that. And then I'm going to refine his muzzle a little bit. About halfway down in the middle here, that's where the mouth is going to begin. You see where about halfway in the middle of your oval is. And we're going to just draw a curve right here. And then another curve just like that. And then we do the inside of his mouth. And it's just a curve coming and touching the outside of your oval again. Yeah, because his mouth is open, right? So now we're going to erase again. Just the inside of his open mouth right here. So let's erase this line. You want to try it? All right, he's got his mouth open. Looking good. The next step is to add the eye, the nose, and the teeth. <laughs> let's start with the eye. Inside of our half circle that we made here, we're just going to draw a little oval shape for his eye. And you can make him looking happy or angry, however you want. Let's add the nostril here at the front of our oval, just above the mouth. We're gonna just do a little dot for his nose. And then the teeth are just sharp triangles jutting out of the top of that mouth. Now we're gonna take his jawline and extend it into his head a little bit like that. So it's just a line coming up that looks like a jaw. Very nice. Good job. You ready to do the legs? 
For the legs, we're going to start with just lines indicating where his leg comes forward. So we're gonna start with like the middle of our circle that we drew and draw a line down to the belly like that. Then we're gonna bring that line backwards, like in the shape of a sideways triangle, like that. I'm sorry, the sideways square, in the shape of a sideways square. So bring it back this way a little bit more. If I, if I completed it like that, it would look like a square. But this is just half a square, see? And that's his knee. <laughs> yes, that looks good. That's his knee. Next, we're gonna draw another line, but this time coming forward, just like the first line did. And this is gonna be his foot. Mm -hmm. And then the toes. Okay, so let's do a little curve coming up like that. He's gonna have three round toes. Before we do the toes, let's draw a straight line under his foot, like that, to show where his foot is flat on the ground. Just a short straight line right under his leg and, and toes. And then we're gonna connect that line behind our first one to fatten out his leg a little. See how his leg is starting to become solid and strong looking? And then we bring another line back up to touch our circle. Good. All right, I'm going to erase this line and make it look more like a rounded knee like that. Make a rounded knee shape. That was really just a guide to help show us what direction his legs are going. Now let's add the toes. For our three toes, we just do skinny lines curving like this. Two skinny lines and that'll make it look like three toes. Yes, and then if you want to make him look really fierce, you can add claws, which are just curved triangles on the tip of each toe. Very good, that is looking fierce. All right, we're gonna add the back leg. The back leg is the same shape as the first leg. Let's start just behind, just behind his first leg and make the same shape coming down until you get to his little ankle. For the back leg, you already got that line here. I'm gonna do the same thing. It'll just kinda look like it's behind the first foot and you can draw a straight line where his foot meets the ground. Okay, the last step to draw is the arms. Now, Tyrannosaurus Rex, they have like two little claws, right? <laughs> so let's draw our little front arms. Let's start with just a candy cane shape. It's like a candy cane coming out of his, out of the side of his belly there, good. And let's draw the other one too. This is like another little candy cane coming out. And then we'll make it look like a really fat hook. And then just split it in half so it looks like he has two claws like that. Do you know how to make it look like a point? Kind of like the tip of a triangle. Skinny. Yeah, really skinny and pointy like a triangle. Kind of like you did for his two or for his three foot claws, but just making two of them. Those look like skinny little Tyrannosaurus arms. That's a good try. These are tricky. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring his arm up into his body like that and erase the inside line. And our dinosaurs are drawn on. Are you ready to outline? Yes. Okay, so grab your Sharpie. This is a great chance to fix any lines you didn't like, just to improve it if you want to. But I'm just gonna outline everything. I like how you did his feet. They look really good. Once the Sharpie's on, you can erase any of those pencil marks that are still showing through that you don't want to be there. He is so cool looking. Good. I'm so happy with that. That looks awesome. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, now the last step before we paint is that we can add some stripes down his back. And they're just little triangles all the way down his tail too. Very good. Are you ready to paint? 
Maybe we should draw some background on before we paint. I was thinking it would be cool to put a mountain in the background. So first let's draw a straight line for the ground. And then maybe one big mountain over here in this space in front of him and connect it to a little mountain. Okay, well today we're gonna paint in watercolors just because I think it's so much more fun to add color to our drawing, don't you think? Yes. So I have some liquid watercolors here today in a bunch of different colors. And I think our dinosaur should be green. What do you think? Yes. Okay. And the stripes yellow. If we use yellow, because it's the brightest, lightest color, we should probably start with that. So maybe paint on the yellow stripes first. And we can also paint the yellow sun with our yellow. Yeah. And then once that dries, we'll go in with the green and paint the dinosaur and the sky. I don't know if we should outline the sun with Sharpie, because when you look at the sun, although you really shouldn't look at the sun because it burns your eyes, right? But do you see a dark outline around the sun ever? No, it's so bright that it creates this glow around it. And so if we just do yellow here without any outline, they'll have to try to paint it without an outline. But I think it would look more real if we did that. We're ready to start painting. We've got our colors all on our palette. We both have two clean jars of water and brushes. And so we start by wetting our brushes. And I think we should start with our lightest color, which is yellow. So wet your brush first, make it damp and then grab a little bit of yellow. And I'm actually gonna paint the sun on first, just in a circle shape. And then take a little more yellow and let's paint our stripes. Right, now I'm actually gonna mix it up with the yellow a little bit to create a really bright green for our dinosaur. And you can use that or the dark green to paint the dinosaur. I'm actually letting it touch the yellow so that it'll blend just a little bit, but I'm being careful to paint around, but it's okay if it touches. I like how it looks when it blends with the green. You can paint your landscape however you want. I'm just going to make my mountain a light blue. I think I want to dry it. Now it's in purple. We're going to need some red for that. If you mix these together with a clean brush, you can get a purplish color for your mountain. Okay, because so red and blue makes purple. Mmm, pretty. Good, you're ready to paint your mountain? That's beautiful. I like your mountain better than mine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, once your dinosaur is mostly dry, and it looks like yours is pretty dry, you can start adding some blue sky. what the word for that is? They got extinct. It's like when they're running away and then they trip and die. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if that's how it happened. <laughs> that's one theory. <laughs> I love your painting. It looks so good. All right, I think we're done, right? So there they are, our finished paintings. Well done. Are you happy with it? Yeah. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new here. We'll be posting new videos for kids every Tuesday. And also turn on notifications so you never miss any new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.